The fish are from all over the world. The big one up here is called a volatin lionfish. It's actually a venomous fish, and on the dorsal spines, the spines that are on the top or the back of his head, um, they're, like, they're like the stingers of a bee, except they're about 10 times as big. So if you ever get pricked by one of those, you've got to make sure and have a doctor's number on hand. My name is Nick Tiemens, and I'm the president and owner of Infinity Aquarium Design. It all starts with the design. You really come up with a plan for what the aquarium's going to look like and where it's going to go. We choose what type of decorations we want in the aquarium. It's built. And then we bring it into the home or office, set it up, fill it with water, and lastly, you put in the fish. I'm Joe Pineda from Infinity Aquarium. I'm the technical manager for the company. I think the attraction of a saltwater aquarium for most people is the fact that they can take a slice of mother nature and bring it into their home. Keeping something alive and having it flourish in your home, that's, that's a special feeling. This aquarium is kept at 79 degrees Fahrenheit, 24 hours a day. And that's important because you want the fish to feel like they're in their natural habitat. The closer you can mimic their natural environment, the better it is for them. So we try to accommodate the fish in their environments, natural environments, by putting a uh, chiller unit on the water, which continually keeps the water at a certain level, at a certain coolness. And then on the flip side, we also have a heater, just in case the water should get too cold, it can bring the temperature back up. But I've never met a really good technician that didn't have a, a fondness for these creatures. And if you have that fondness for that creature, you're gonna take every necessary step to make sure that home is close to his home in nature and has the best chance of survival. Aquariums come in all shapes and sizes. Uh, we've done aquariums smaller than a gallon and we've done aquariums larger than 5,000 gallons. We do the design and, and the conception and the installation, but it's very important that you have the proper person build the aquarium. Hey, Doug. Hi, Nick. Good to see you again. Hey, Joe. How's it going? Good to see you. Come on in. Thanks. I'm Doug Mason. We manufacture aquariums. The person that actually wants the aquarium will come by with a set of dimensions that they want the aquarium to be, or also various shapes that they want them to be, as in cylinders, triangles. And if you're in a home like this, there's a lot of curves and a lot of bends in the home. So perhaps you might want to do a cylinder or some type of bubble-shaped aquarium. Semi-cylinders. <sighs> angled shapes, pentagons, hexagons, octagons. We make very large aquariums. The one behind me is 15 feet long, four foot front to back, that's the depth, and six feet high. Uh, that's going to hold about 4,000 gallons of water, which will weigh about 32,000 pounds. In order to contain that amount of water safely, we have to use very, very thick acrylic. This tank is nice and strong. You could probably take a hammer to it and it need quite a few wax in order to crack it. Height is what determines the thickness more than anything else. The higher you go, the thicker acrylic you're gonna have. And obviously that's to withstand the pressure that the water will push out on the aquarium. The more intricate or com complicated you guys get, the more math I have to use. Hexagons, pentagons, triangles. I have to know what the angles actually are. If you don't do the math right, we call it a catastrophic failure. There could be anywhere from a few hundred to a few thousands of gallons of water coming out into an area where it's not supposed to be very quickly. I think the key ingredient is that you really have to have a passion for this hobby. I can remember getting my first goldfish at four years old. Um, and ever since then, I, I slowly graduated to larger fish, larger aquariums, from freshwater tank to my first saltwater tank when I was 12 years old. And uh, I have always loved the hobby. And it's just kind of always been in the back of my mind as to how cool it would be to do that for a living. And then um, just one day I decided to pursue it. What I like about my job most is solving problems. I like getting difficult tasks and making things work. The best thing about my job is that it's different every single day. I'm going somewhere new every day. I'm in a different home every day. I get to look at different fish every day. Just to be able to really enjoy what I do and always come up with creative ideas to, to make this better, it's a real challenge, but it's one that I enjoy. And I really love my job. This profession, it has a science part and an art part. And when we create these systems in the beginning, that's all art. But to make a tank flourish and mature, that's science. 
we're left with products like this where we can really go to work and really dig our brains and pick out and come up with a new design that we've never done before and everybody's happy in the long run. The fish are happy as well as the client.